Silicon Valley, technology, art, green, and sustainability. Hi, welcome to Silicon Valley Technology, Art, Green, and Sustainability. Today I'm honored to have a guest who is a leader in smart grid technology, Christine Herzog. Thank you so much for coming today. And could you tell the audience a, a little about what, about what you're doing and the, the things you've been working on? Well, sure. Thank you, Heather, for having me on your show. Uh, well, what I have is uh, produced a smart grid dictionary uh, as a resource for people who are looking for some information and some background on the smart grid itself. And I uh, uh, launched that book along with a website back in June of 2009. So I've been in, engaged in this for a few months now, and it's been very exciting so uh, it's business. It's yes. very new for yes, you. Yes, it is. Um, and you've got the book here, so we can maybe mm -hmm. show the audience um, the book that you've authored. And, um, and then maybe you can you know, also tell us a little bit about Smart Grid and what it is and you know, how it relates to the Valley. And, and uh, yeah, so I think a lot of people will be interested in. Absolutely. Uh, the Smart Grid, as I define it in the dictionary, is a bi-directional communications and electricity network that will improve the reliability, the security, and the efficiency of our electrical system. And it will impact from small to large scale generation, transmission, distribution, and storage. And it will incorporate hardware and software. And we'll have benefits all across the entire uh, gamut uh, from generation to storage. But as well, it's really important for consumers to understand that it will have m tremendous benefits to them too in the f ability to more uh, efficiently and effectively manage our own use of electricity and therefore help save money and help save the environment. Now there was a, a website you were actually quoted for your, your definition recently, um, someone I met at the Water Summit um, that Sustainable Silicon Valley put on. And I guess there's a group of people that meet in Saratoga and they're doing some sustainable articles and looking mm -hmm. at things. And we were quoted on that and, and I think also on that site or maybe it was on in the newspaper that this is probably the next big trend in, in the industries as far as job placement technology being used, so it's, it's kind of a fascinating thing that you're doing. It is, and I do also agree that a smart grid, in my opinion, is going to be the next big thing for Silicon Valley. And there are a number of reasons that it will be the next big thing. For one, we have such a great mm -hmm. ecosystem from a software development perspective, including game design. And those uh, aspects will be very important in really rolling out some of the consumer-oriented products for the smart grid, as well as across the board, providing more interactive and effective training for these new solutions within the utility industry and uh, across different companies that will be adopting and adapting some of these technologies. In addition to that, we also have um, a great deal of synergies around the universities and uh, proximity to um, a national lab, Lawrence um, Berkeley National Lab, that's very heavily focused on energy efficiency and building uh, energy technologies. And with that, as well as uh, organizations like Electric Power Research Institute, or EPRI, in this area, there's this phenomenal exchange of ideas and a real upwelling of innovation that can really come from this area. Then you combine that with chip design and with uh, the, the fact that we have tremendous expertise in IP communications and networks here as well. And we've got all the makings for Silicon Valley being a true global driver of technology for the world. So I want to go back to the, the two places you just mentioned. Um, I think Lawrence Livermore and the other one in a second. But your background, how did you get involved in this? I want to, I want to hear a little bit about that. How did you get involved in Smart Grid? And, and what's your background? Oh, sure. Well, my background is uh, that I've been in telecommunications for over 20 years. And I've worked with hardware, software, and spent a tremendous amount of time focused on customer interactions and making sure that um, we had designed contact center systems so that customers would have first call resolution as often as possible. So the smart grid is 50% is communications. So I have a pretty good background from that perspective. 
And in addition, just found myself tremendously fascinated mm -hmm. by the whole area of activity and the the tremendous parallels that I saw between what happened in the telecom industry um, a number of years ago and what's occurring now or will be occurring now in what we consider to be the utilities industry. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that later, but uh, you know, getting back to the question of my background, I also have a Master of Science in, in Telecommunications from ah. uh, CU Boulder, and I have a psych degree as well. So I not only can understand the technologies, but I understand how change has to be managed in order for organizations and for people to be able to gracefully and efficiently and effectively use those new technologies. So, and how did you get rid? Or how did you get interested in the smart grid technology? And I guess researched it and then produced this book. Because not everybody produces books; they don't author books. So, how did how did that come about? How did that interest come about for you? I had been looking around for a while to move into more of a clean tech uh, area because I am a very committed environmentalist myself, but I wanted to also keep that technology focus. And it's very easy to find something to do in Silicon Valley. We have so many seminars and conferences. Uh, just about any day of the week, this you could true. find yeah. something. If you wanted to become an expert in, in something, go to enough conferences, talk to enough smart people, and you will start to learn quite a bit. So through the course of going to a number of different conferences and events that were uh, out here in the past year or so, I, I came ac across Smart Grid as a real area of interest for myself. And probably Fountain Blue and... Some and of the SD things at Stanford and, and the SD yes. Forum, mm -hmm. and which is a software developers forum, yes. correct? Yeah. Yes. And so it was all kinds of events like that, including you know, some of the different uh, legal firms in the area are occasionally host events. Um, and the CPUC has, uh, they had a great series this past CPUC summer. CPUC being? California Public Utilities okay. Commission. Okay, so the audience. Yes. And, and so with all of those resources available, and many of them free, uh, it, it was very easy to um, come across the smart grid and say, ah, you know, that this really, really does attract my attention because it will not only save the environment, but it will save people money with the promise of what all this technology can do. So with that in mind, I started doing more research on my own and started writing down all the many terms and there's a, a tremendous amount of acronyms to the smart grid sector. Yes, yes. And uh, there's also a lot of uh, jargon. And that's something I'm very accustomed to in the telecom industry and some of the jargon was the same. But there were some things that I had never come across before. So I'd write down uh, this whole list uh, and uh, created my own glossary. And it, I realized one day as I was working on that glossary that there was no dictionary for the smart grid industry. There's always been a dictionary for as long as I can remember for the telecom industry, but there hadn't been one for smart grid. And I thought, well, I've already got the start to it here and I'll just finish it. So how long did you work on it before it was published then? Oh, it's about a year's worth of effort in so it. So sometime in 2008 and then mm -hmm. publishing took a couple months or? Publishing was uh, a fairly easy process. Once you, I had the entire book uh, put together, uh, then it was a matter of finding a print-on-demand uh, company to work with. And that was one of the easier parts of the whole process. So here in Silicon Valley, how long have people been working on this? And, and you mentioned a couple companies. Lawrence Livermore Labs, I think, was one. And I can't remember the name of the other one that you mentioned. Um, EPRI. EPRI. Mm -hmm. How long have people been working on, on this industry here? It's, it's fairly new, or, or, or is it? It's, it's, smart grid is fairly new. The grid has, of course, been around for a long time. And there's always been some technology focus in this area on that with a number of different companies. But the smart grid uh, concept has really started to bubble up in the past couple of years and it's really taken off this year because of uh, all the stimulus money that's from the American Recovery Reinvestment Recovery Act. Act yeah. and Which is about $8.5 billion and 6.5 is, is earmarked for um, green jobs and investing in 
companies mm -hmm. and ideas that are going to build green jobs. Right. Uh, yeah, just across the board, it's going to help out in terms of energy efficiency technologies and implementation and getting that into people's homes and, and things like that. So, yeah, across the board, energy storage, uh, research into, uh, you know, better uh, solar technologies, better wind technologies, all of the renewables, that's all part of this whole uh, stimulus package. Uh, 